Hey guys, it's Hop Stein today. Welcome back to a brand new FIFA video. And today's video, I'm bringing you guys another team of the year trading tip. And I do apologize for bringing loads of these out over the past couple of days. It's just that I want to get as many of these out as possible to you guys. So, to reward you guys, I'm going to say if this video can get to 40 likes by hopefully tomorrow or maybe even the weekend, I'll be doing a pink slips match. So, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. A chance to play me at that pink slips match when this video hits 40 likes, and you know it could happen today, maybe. So make sure you go smash that like button, follow me on Twitter as well for a chance to play me in that pink slips match. So if you guys are also look for cheap and reliable coins, make sure you go check out the FUT coins. They sell six pound per 100k, and they also cover tax. So today's method is going to be investment. So if I show you guys right now, if I go to my homepage, you guys can see that the team of the year. Midfielders are out in packs right now. So basically, this is basically going to be the time when some people are going to rebuy the players. Like basically, people of course sold their players before the team of the year, and people are going to rebuy them. Now, what's going to happen is eventually the prices of the players will start to go back up because people will be opening less packs. Probably by now or so, uh, people will be opening less packs. Um, because they probably would have already spent it when the team and the defenders came out, most people. And the, the price of players will start to go gradually up and up because people will be rebuying the players. And then people, like traders, will take into the head um, that, you know what, we can make a bit of profit right here. And they will put the price of the players up and up and up. So what I recommend you guys do, this is kind of a bit of a risky tactic. So let's take an example. Uh, we'll use Santa Cthulhu. Before the market crash, I checked his price and he was going for about 12k. So if you go look at his lowest buy now price now, if I put Spanish right here, um, last time I checked, it was at about 6,500 coins. So we're going to check what it is right now. We'll go for um, 6,500 and see if they're already going for that. So we'll search for that. Um, there's no none good for that. Let's go a bit higher then. How much is he going for? Wait, okay, wait, one second. Okay, one second. I apologize. I apologise, let me search for that. Right, so, um, the thing glitched out basically. So you guys can see, he's going for about 7k. And I checked in the morning and his price was at 6,500 coins. And that basically means that his price is going to start going back up again. It probably won't go back up to 12k. It probably will go up to about 10k, I'd say. 10k, 9k. So what you guys need to do, this is just one example of a player. It's basically, let's say, buy Santa Cazorla for, let's say, for like 7k, 6.7k or so, around that mark. And wait for like a week or so, and his price should be back up to 9k, 10k. And that means you can sell him on for like 3k profit on each player, depending on how much you buy them for. However, this is a bit risky. There could be a chance that his price won't go up too much, but I do think the prices will go up at least a little bit. You can also use different players as well. So, for example, uh, let me think of a few. Um, Carlos Tevez, I believe, is going for quite a lot, like 20k, and his price has dropped. His price will probably go back up again. And you just want to look kind of for the players who are going for about. Um, try and go for cheap players. Don't really go for expensive players because it could mess up your whole trade profit if it doesn't go too well. So, go for the players like Santa Cazorla, Carlos Tevez, Buffon, etc., etc. Those kind of players, about 20k. Uh, 20k, like 5k to 20k. That, that's a good amount to spend on. And uh, basically buy a load of them. Uh, different varieties. Don't just like buy a load of Santa Cthulhu's. Buy quite a few of Santa Cthulhu's. Quite a few like Artaro Vidas. Quite a few Tevez's, etc, etc. Just go and do that. Wait until like a week or so. Then resell them on. And it should be, hopefully, fingers crossed, it is a bit risky rolling in the profit. I mean, I'm not actually liking, like, the web app. They, I think they changed the text. I'm not really liking it. I don't know why they've changed it. It makes no sense. Like, why would you make the coin smaller and that? Oh, it's just making it a bit more laggier. Um, tell me guys what you think in the comments below on the new web app kind of layout and text. But nonetheless, this method hopefully should work. Investment. And make sure to go hit 40 likes, as I said, for the Pink Sips match. Um, hopefully tomorrow or on Saturday. And I'll go see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.